We made it, baby. We're on top. We did it. Good. <laughs> Hold a minute. Laughing is contagious, and I hope you're not laughing at me, my ugly teeth and so forth. Now, the reason why I'm doing this video, and I said we made it, baby, is because as a number 10, you know that you have a lot of negatives against you. You know, you're a lot of haters, those guys who just don't like you. They don't like to see you uh, in the competition. Your presence just is so contagious. It creates anticipation of, oh, this guy's here to win. And, you know, you have a lot of give and take once you're a number 10. You see, you have players out there who are just, they, they sleep with your name in their mouths and in their, in their heads. You know, they just want to eat you up, break your leg, do something bad to you. And, you know, for those who are rookies, number 10, who don't really understand the whole, uh, the whole pressure that we deal with on a regular basis. You see, some rookie number 10s, they will just go out and, let's say, uh, to the stores and buy a number 10 jersey. And you know the whole works with a name, for example, Reynoldino, Pele, their favorite number 10s. However, I'm not promoting number 10s like just the name number 10. I'm promoting you being the individual wearing your number 10, one that you have earned, the one that you have created by means of practicing and applying tactics and skills that we will teach you. But the reason why I want to level with you is, you see, I've received many comments from um, a few coaches and some players who, you know, they think they know what's going on here in the soccer number 10 fortress. However, they don't know what is going on. You see, to be true and frank, I do not teach you systems that you learn in textbooks or systems that you learn from coaches, uh, everyday coaches, not being biased. Many coaches who contribute to soccer, I do take my cap off to you. But those who just contribute towards preparing the youth for just a game or semifinals, and then once they reach finals, they can't deliver to win the trophy. Those coaches, I do uttermost show no respect for. Now, we have made it. You have done it. You have been to the top by means of your hard work, your practice, your daily training, not only with the team, but with yourself in your backyard by means of your hard dedication, your heart. As you would see Usain Bolt beating in his chest after passing or crossing the finish line, you're there saying, this guy is just a show off. No, he's not. He's confident that he has worked hard and he has managed to be at the top. Oh, yes, baby. You see, in the army, when you would say that, I hope you can see my flag in the background. In the army, once you say, we did it, we have done it, that's a great, great accomplishment. And once a soldier tell you, yes, I have done it, it's, it, it's, it's so inspiring that it lifts you. Now I'm saying, yes, we have done it. Because we have many who have said that we will never pass anything. We would have never become a great soccer player. You would have never made it. You would never lose the weight. You, have, you would never pass this exam. You would never do the. You would never, you would never. Who the hell they think they are? Answer me. Honestly, you see, the reason why they say so is because they have many limiting limitations that they have set. Here in the Soccer Number 10 website, we will teach you not to limit yourself. I want you to understand that you are in good hands with us. And I want you to know that I, by all means, hope and trust and wish you all the best. For from today on, yes, you. I don't want you to listen to anyone, to listen to whatsoever they say. I don't want you to listen to any BS from anyone. Take it from me. Yes, you can. Yes, we can. Soccer number 10, player of honors. See you next video.